What's going on everybody? This is Axis and I am here to discuss the new Fantasy Golf Bag Stat Model and Optimizer. So this will be kind of a short little intro just so you can start going with it, uh, be familiar with some of the functions it can do and then um, I know Drew's going to make a video. I assume Sky and Jacob may also make videos kind of going over how they build a model. Hopefully in the future here we get some templates of those up as well so you can just pick my model or Drew's basic model. Um, this is kind of a beta. Not, I mean it's functioning but you know we're, we're going to be open to ideas from you guys so if you drop them in the Slack, DM on Twitter, whatever it is to get a hold of us, um, give us your ideas. This is going to be kind of a you know, free flowing, you know, model that we'd like to tailor as much as we can to what people want. So like if you have a, I don't know if you think you have a really good idea, uh, let us know. Nothing's going to be done overnight. This is a not like a lightning quick process, but we definitely are open to ideas. We still have a few little things to tweak, like maybe putting stats in different order or even making it so potentially you can choose what order. But anyhow, this is the new stat model and optimizer, which you can use to build lineups and then import uh, or download those lineups and then import them into DraftKings. So to start, this is the page. This is where you'll find for the Charles Schwab this week, uh, DraftKings pricing. And what we've also added to the stat model, which it, the old version didn't have, is uh, a fantasy golf bag projection. So I am making these projections so you can complain to me if you think they're stupid or if they suck. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, so I did come up with the Victor Perez number. So yes, I'm using some Euro data, all that wonderful stuff. So first things first, that is what that is. The model rating that's currently blank will populate with a percentile if you make your own model. If you want to use your custom model for your optimizer, you'll leave this checked. If you'd just rather use my projections, you can uncheck it or don't build your own model. So if you have, so right now, um, if you go to the optimizer, it just has these default six lineups in there, but you can go to settings. Uh, let's say we're doing the $3.20. Uh, you're just using my projections right now. Max player exposure. Uh, I only want 50% of one guy, so we'll do 10 lineups since that is 20 is how many we want. 50%, 10. All right. And then we can hit generate. And the optimizer will spit out our 20 lineups with your median projection, total, max, min. And again, this is just based on the, the projections that I have uploaded. So you could then download that. And then that'll download a Excel CSV file, which you can then use to upload directly into DraftKings. If you're not familiar with how to do that, that will be another video. For now, you can either let me know in Slack, and I can try to help you out, or DM until we make that video. But if you're not familiar with downloading lineups, copy, pasting them into your um, DraftKings lineups that you already have. So we'll try to make another video for that as well. So back to the actual model. Um, over on the left is where you can decide basically what data you're going to pull. So if you only want data from certain rounds, you can do that here. Um, for this week, maybe you only want you know hard fairways, so you'll only select that data. Um, green type, maybe you, you only want the bent, that's all you care about, and you'll hit apply. And then the model will update its data based on those parameters so you can then reset it if you if you, and then hit apply again to go back to default which is all the data um, so for minimum rounds so right now you see Rory 93 rounds that's just pulling all the stuff back to his 93rd round that we have currently in the database so you're gonna say you know what but you know Victor Perez is only eight and you're like you know what I don't really want to deal with people who have you know, less than 24, because less than 24 really doesn't tell me much. So you can go apply, and it'll get rid of all that, anybody with less than 24. And you're like, you know what, though? I still don't want it to be older than six months, so we'll apply. So anybody who's played at least 24 rounds in the last six months. Oops, 
nothing. Kind of have that delay, and then we had the swing season, so hence you got that. So now we go last 12 months, at least 24 rounds. In the last 12 months, we have 40 rounds for Rory, 38 for Rahm, etc., etc. But I'm going to reset it back to all records currently. So that's kind of how you would use some of these filters. And if you want to do your own course fit, say you have like three courses that you think Colonial is similar to, you can uncheck everything. Um, I think that's another button I'll have. We'll try to have added as a unselect, select all, and then unselect all. So you can, but you can go select just those three courses. Like, say you have three that remind you of Colonial. Like I don't know. Innisbrook, PGA National, and then Colonial. Those are the three you want, so those are the three you click. You can apply and you'll only get data from those three courses that you selected. So once you have the data up on this page that you want to use, I guess I should go over one more thing. The custom projections you can copy paste from Excel. So if you don't like mine or you don't want to use the model to create a percentile ranking, um, if you have your own projections in Excel, you can just copy paste right into here and yours will show up. So to build the model, this is just default. So you can get rid of those if you don't want to use those statistics. We'll make a basic one, you know, we'll go off the T, add model weight. Uh, and then we want approach. We'll do the four strokes gain stats. So around the green and putting cool so it's colonial i still like off the tee so we'll go 25 though um we want a lot of approach right it's colonial obviously that's what i was talking about so 25 and 40 around the green eh. i think i'll go yeah screw it we'll leave it at 15 we'll just go with this very basic strokes gained model apply and now your projection has been updated from your model and you can sort by low or high so Rory is the top in our weighted model uh, Xander second JT Rom web so now you can click that use custom model if it exists and you can go to optimizer um, go back to settings we still want 20 with 50% max cool and uh, now we generate and now it's generating based on the model that you made not my projections so as you can see rory and he's ranked first in the model that we made xander's ranked second in the model we made um so yeah so that would be how you use your model make sure this button is clicked and then make sure you apply your model to get your projection number right in here um so on the pod, you know, we talked about we want weighted greens and regulations. So we'll add that. So what I would do, you know, take some out of the approach and we'll give it to the green regulation because they're, you know, they're, they're in the same family of statistics. So remaining weight zero, that means we got it all to 100. Great. Apply. Uh, we see some things shifted, but not, not terribly. Uh, still Rory, Xander, JT, Ron, Bryson, Webb just some of these numbers drop. But you can see the gap between Rory and Xander. Um, so yeah, you can go to Optimizer, and again, you can run the 20. Uh, you can change your settings. You can run you know, 150 if you want. It don't matter to me. Um, but yeah, so once you have what you want, you just click outside the box, and we can generate more lineups. And as you'll notice, it's, it, it optimizes pretty quick. So you could then download. Um, it'll open up. Mine, I have mine set to open the file automatically. So that's why it opened it automatically. So you could copy paste these into your DraftKings template. Again, if you don't know how to do that, let us know. We will try to have a video up for that as well. But uh, yeah, those are really the basics of of the stat model here and again we'd love to hear your thoughts we're you know nothing's perfect uh, we're willing to try to add what we can but we think for now this this is an excellent start and we'll try to get more statistics in here if possible but we really didn't want to weigh it down with um, 
I guess with statistics that I don't really think are that useful to begin with. So we really try to give you, you know, what we work with. So um, you'll see we have driving distance, weighted driving accuracy, um, weighted birdie or better, bogey avoidance, DK and FanDuel points back here, strokes gain, field differential, weighted green and regulation, which could be a big one to look at this week. Um, then, yeah, you have your strokes gained. No, off the tee approach around the green putting tee to green strokes gain total so we definitely are looking forward to rolling this out um letting you guys mess around with this and have it create your own your own projections and then optimize your own lineups off of that so again if you have any questions or ideas please let us know the easiest way would be in the fantasy golf bag slack chat um good luck this week and hopefully the model helps you uh Helps you cash.